and right now in the rehearsal process that is our nightmare yes uh, because it's a lot of narration and playing characters and at the same time thinking ahead of what's coming next where is my next prop what's the next costume i've got to have ready and very very uncomfortable yeah. to play yeah. uh, it's something that's not me totally to my core yeah. so it's really been a, a challenge and I know it's been a challenge for Shannon too who's having to be that figure on the auction block um, it's been uncomfortable for her so for both of it's it's been a it's been a challenge yeah. um, and it's uh, and then adding uh, that sexual undertone to it that's even even tougher. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. And it's still being challenged. I've got a feeling that's going to be one of those that will be a challenge till the very end, yeah. trying to really find it and, and, and nail it. So. Yeah. Well, I, I, the, the actual uh, workings of playing a female or playing different characters, I'm, I've done a lot of that. Uh, I, I did, uh, with Ed Howard, I did A Tune of Christmas, which was playing, you know, 22 different characters. So it's something I've done before, um, and you were talking earlier about the, the process of getting and finding those characters. I come from physical comedy, so a lot of times for me, it's finding the physicality first, mm -hmm. and then I go back to the acting, and, and because for me, the physicality shows so much of the status of the character. Mm -hmm. So when I find that physicality, the character comes through that. Mm -hmm. um, rarely do I go the other way, and I know a lot of actors go the other way, and try to work on the, the emotional or the head stuff and then find the physicality, but I, I just kind of do it different. I'm the same way, I, do, I start physical. Like with Tom, um, Tom's been, it, it is very physical. And he's probably my favorite at this point. I, I thought it would be the king, but it's it's playing Tom Sawyer that's really been a whole lot of fun, uh, just because he's jumping around and going nuts the whole time. Right. Um, but yeah, that physicality is is the first thing I try to find, mm. and then find all the layers, mm. kind of stacked on top of the physicality. Mm. Um. Well, I've. I, I, as far as the religious aspect, I, I've had a hard time with the preacher. Mm -hmm. I play the preacher mm -hmm. in the show, and um, number one, I disagree with a whole lot of things that he says. Mm -hmm. When the you know uh, in that time period, the church was saying that it was that God sanctioned the slavery, and interpreting the scripture to make it work for them, uh, and that's been tough for me. Um, to try to see that interpretation and try to deal with that. Um, the preacher is also very wordy and he's just, he's tough. Yeah. Um, so how do you find empathy in a character like that? How do you, how do you connect with him and say, I at least have to make it seem believable that I actually believe that God said slavery is right and is of this world and this black man, you, you are given these hard horny hands and I'm giving these soft, gentle hands because you're a worker, and I and I am to be worked for. Right. It's it's tough. It really is, yeah. um, especially when it does go so much against your grain. Mm -hmm. um, and I sometimes have to find things that I believe in strongly and and kind of correlate it to to the way a character would believe in a different way than I believe. But I have to find a, something that I believe in and translate that into that character. Mm. Even though the words are different and it may be about a different subject, I've got to find something that I strongly believe in and push it. Yeah. Um, and I, there again, that's why the preacher, I think, has become such a problem with me. I'm having a hard time memorizing those words mm. just because I think it's that the character is just something that's so totally different right. from me. So. But it's so. But it, we find a place of, of it. The, the I mean, the reason of doing this show is is to find that. Absolutely. That, you know, if you were to sugarcoat that moment, I mean, it's so uh, it's so incredible. Right. But, and it all comes to that one point where Huck, to me, the climax, the turning point of this show is Huck saying, "All right, I'll go to hell. Right. I'm going to do what's right for me. 
I'll go to hell. If that's wrong, that's wrong. If it's right, it's right. Mm. God will judge me when I get there, but I have to do what's right for me. Yeah. So, and I think that's the most important message here is finding out what's right in your heart and going and following that. Yeah.